This is why I train in martial arts. Well, we have a man in Maryland who was attacked because he wore a MAGA hat. If you don't want know what that is, that is M-A-G-A, -A, Make America Great Again, the slogan of Donald Trump. Let's take a look at that clip. This is why I train in martial arts. I did, Sean. He says that he was out here walking in the Seneca Club neighborhood of Germantown when two men approached. They told him to take off his hat, a hat that he wears all of the time. He says he was shocked when then one of them hit him from behind. Take a listen. And I was like, why are you doing that? You know, we don't have to do this. They said, no, 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 no. That, that hat is not, you know. So, and then uh, they started, you know, punching me on my head. Attacked for wearing the signature red baseball cap bearing President Trump's campaign slogan. Atsu Nabel says the two men began harassing him as soon as they spotted his MAGA hat, shouting that he take it off. He told them that he is entitled to his political views and tried to walk away, but they became violent, repeatedly hitting him until he fell to the ground. Nabel says he came to the United States legally from Togo in West Africa in 2007 and is now a U.S. citizen. He supported the Republican Party and President Donald Trump from the beginning, attending campaign events and even volunteering at the inauguration. I came here for freedom. Uh, you know, I like it. It's not that, you know, you and I disagree. They're going to beat me up or, you know, going to kill me. We are humans, you know. We have a brain. Witnesses called 911 and Montgomery County police say officers canvassing the area found the two suspects at a nearby basketball court attempting to hide among the children playing. 27-year-old Javon Crawford and 25-year-old Scott Robertson are facing multiple charges, including second-degree assault and robbery. Nabel says during the attack, the men smashed his headphones. Also, he tried to pull out his cell phone and take a photo of them as they ran away. They came back and tried to fight him for it, but he was able to fight them off, and that's when the witnesses called police. Back to you in the studio. Oh, I guess no one heard of freedom of speech. Well, this is why I train in martial arts. Because somebody might not like what I have on and they may try to attack me. There are people out there who are just violent with their ideology, violent with their agenda. Most Trump critics are not violent, but you have extremes and extremists on both sides. This is a true example of how there are bad people on both sides. And they attacked him because they didn't like a hat. Of all things, a hat. I understand their anger. I understand their frustration. But they don't have the right to attack someone for wearing a hat. Now, the good news for this gentleman who was attacked is that he's in Maryland. I'm in Maryland. I'm not really that close for him to want to drive to take lessons to. But if he would like to drive to one of my classes and take a lesson, as long as he registers, I would be more than happy to train him. Also, if he's in a part of Maryland that I think he is, I believe this was in Germantown or near Germantown, there are a lot of good martial arts schools out there as well. So if he wants to learn how to defend himself because he's wearing a MAGA hat, then I think he should enroll in one of the local martial arts programs so that he could protect himself, okay? And I, I'm serious about this. If you're going to wear stuff that can make people attack you or be violent towards you, while I'm not blaming you because they shouldn't put their hands on you, if you're gonna if you're gonna wear something that you know will make people want to hit you, I think you need to learn how to handle people hitting you. And one of the ways you can learn how to handle people hitting you is to take a martial art. And one martial art that you can take is Cecil Ryu martial arts. What I've developed, what I teach, a combination of Taekwondo and Judo with some influences from Western Boxing and Kyushu Jitsu. So thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts. Please don't think that I don't feel sorry for the guy because I do. And please don't think that if you don't like what I say in the video, that means that you and I need to go to blows because I'm not going to fight you. And peace.